Long ago in ancient times, the land of Chung Wan languished in a state of chaos and turmoil. Although the nation had been unified under Emperor Wan Wu, hostilities among regional lords vying for power and territorial control did not wane. Savage feuding devastated crops and fields. Villages and towns were reduced to ashes. Throughout the country, innocent victims perished at the hands of bandits who thrived without fear in a lawless land. brother is a fool, Mukyang. It was very stupid of him to double-cross me. Such betrayal can never be pardoned. As a test of your loyalty to me, you will dispose of him. Please forgive him, Master Danju, this once. His only crime is that he's too soft-hearted to be an assassin for the Five Dragons. Murdering the innocent does not suit Dan Young. No one is innocent in my eyes. We shall not reveal our existence to anyone before our ambition is realized. Evidence and witness of our passage must be destroyed for our own protection. I know our code, but I can't condone the slaughter of men, women, and children. You be silent! Instead of sitting in judgment of us, simply do as you're ordered and kill him! But Master, my brother has already left the Five Dragons. You needn't worry, he will never again turn on you. I assure you of this with my life. As if that's worth anything. I'm well aware of Dan Young's enormous potential in the martial arts. I have no doubts that he will cause undue annoyance unless we get rid of him now. I want you to send him to hell! <laughs> Here, Mook Young. One swig of this potion and your heart will feel no guilt. Drink! But I'll become a demon if I swallow that. I won't drink it! Come now, a little Mar Young Shindan won't hurt you. <laughs> Three years later, a young warrior surfaced in the land. He appeared from nowhere like a whirlwind. With fists of justice, he punished the gangs of outlaws and liberated those who had suffered under their domination. Soon this champion of the oppressed became known for the bird of prey that faithfully accompanied him. People called him Red Hawk. Fellow brethren, the time that we of the Camelai gang have been waiting for has come! <laughs> At long last, 
Our dream to unify Chang Wan and overthrow the Emperor is now at hand. Our brothers who roam the country have done well to prepare the way for the new regime by bringing about mayhem and disorder among the peasantry. Chang Wan will be ripe for the taking! <laughs> By the way, what have you done about Dan Young? I'm sorry, Master. The net has been cast, but I have not yet discovered his whereabouts. I will not allow your brother yet another chance at betrayal. Finish it, or I'll finish you both. I know. Enjoyed the meal, Chan Chan. <laughs> well, these look tasty. Uh, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Good. Excuse me, Hon Young. Hey, Hon Young. Huh? What is it, Munya? I know I ordered the same thing as he did. And your point is. Oh, well, I think the service is different. Hmm. I serve you like any other patron. But I will admit, my fondness differs between um. you and Jan Chan. <laughs> mm. What's that? I said, these coins are worthless. <laughs> Did I hear you right? My money's no good in here. Listen, little man. Maybe you need another look to realize your mistake. Hmm. Cold hard cash, and I made honest money by working like a horse. No fakes in here, you idiot. Your eyes are as bad as the food you serve. Hmm. Say something, you little turd. Own young. <laughs> That's enough. Hmm? Girl, what do you want? I think it's you who has the bad eyesight. Hmm? What? You know that money's counterfeit. A blind monkey in the dark could see that. <laughs> I've heard about your reputation for passing off forged money to the local merchants. Now I know it's true. <laughs> I work for that money, girl. Hard work. Oh, did you now? Stealing is hard work? What? How dare you accuse me of forgery and stealing when the food here is swill? Hey, you must like swill. You huh? enjoyed the meal here so much, you ate every crumb. Uh, Who uh, the uh, fuck is he? Chan-chan. Uh, uh, good seeing you. I know you have to run. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, You got some kind of problem with me, punk? Why don't you tell me to my face? Problem? No, I don't have any specific complaints. Uh, I just want to point out that the food's great here. Meat buns, boy. Uh, mm, mm, mm. When you said that the food was bad, then I knew. Your tongue is as nearsighted as your eyes. Uh, why you? Ah, you're even uglier up close. Could you turn your face away? Please, it ruins my appetite. Shut your mouth! No, John Chun! Huh? Good for nothings everywhere you look. Good for nothings? Ow! So, I see you like to play rough. So do I. Come on, I need the exercise. Huh? You must have a death wish to challenge me. <laughs> hmm. 
Well, shall we start? Get her. Entertainment. Are you ready to take your turn now? Or do you want to pay your bill and leave while you're still able to? Which? How so you will leave? Seem to vanish. We didn't huh. even get the chance to thank her or find out who she was. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a pity. So cute, and what a personality. And tell me what's wrong. It's your father. He was found murdered. Huh? <laughs> Down there. <laughs> Move aside, please. Coming through. <laughs> oh, Hong Young. Papa's off working in Taman. <laughs> but Papa promised me that he would come home for the new year. This is all a bad joke, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Poor girl. I'm sorry, child. It's you. Hello? Hey, wait! Hold on! Hey. Not very sociable. Who is she? And why is she here? It's her. I don't. 
don't mean to intrude, but I need to ask. Was your father a craftsman? He was. A very good one. People liked his work. Why do you want to know? First, tell us who you are and why you're here. I'm searching. Lately, there's been a number of craftsmen from certain villages reported murdered or missing, and I'm following up on each account. I was passing through this area when I heard about your father, so I decided to come see you. Well, it all sounds true. Tell me, did your father work here in Chung Lim? No. Last fall, he was hired to go work in Saman, a village located in the north. It's a ways, but this river takes you right to it. <sighs> Just as I thought. I don't understand. What do you mean? The upper region to the north of Chung Lim? It's plagued by a gang called Hukiam Don, led by a Kur named Moor Yong. They're just a pack of bloodthirsty dogs who would think nothing of killing you. Was my father a victim too? I don't know. But the village of Saman... Wait! Wait! At least tell us who you are, please. My name is Yang Yang. I roam Chung Wong in search of Red Hawk. <gasps> Red Hawk? Do you know him? Do we know him? He's appeared in our village many times to give the hoodlums a sound thrashing. Right, Chan Chan? Hmm? Huh? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, if the Hukyam Don are responsible, then Red Hawk will go to Saman and bring punishment to them. I truly hope I get to meet him. Please take me with you. <gasps> I want to help you look for Red Hawk, too. I'll beg him to take revenge on the bastards who murdered my father. Saman is a very dangerous town. You sure? Very sure. Sorry. I travel alone. Then I'll have to go by myself. Hmm? Okay, I'll take you. Oh, you will? Thank you so much. Well, it's no fun taking a long trip by yourself now, is it? Hey, I'll come along too. Chan Chan! I can't wait behind knowing you ladies are off on a perilous mission unescorted. You care? I knew you did! <laughs> oh, hmm. That's awfully nice of you to offer your manly protection, but in the tavern, I rescued you. I think we're better off going alone. Oh, don't be so hard on him. It's always good to have a man around. They have their good points, and he can look for his missing brother, too. Brother? I'll have you know I'm pretty good at martial arts. I trained at Young Moo School. <laughs> Nice night for a swim. <laughs> Yeah, why did you have to come along? Ha! And let you have Hon Yong to yourself all the while? I think not. My darling, Hon Young. Oh, oh. I feel guilty. The fellas are exhausted and I'm all refreshed. I know what you mean. Sitting here like this, I forget about the woes of the outside world. So, Young Young, why are you so determined to find Red Hawk, huh? Well? Hmm. Let's see. It must have been about four years ago. Back then, I had somewhat of a reputation as a martial arts expert in Murim. I wasn't content to pit my skills against other fighters from the area. 
So I journeyed to Diara Sanjay, the center of martial arts, to challenge members of the Five Dragons. I hadn't realized until then what a foolish mistake that was. So superior were their abilities that I couldn't lay a finger on them. I had no choice but to surrender myself to their mercy. Suddenly, without warning, a crimson hawk appeared from the sky and flew close overhead. It was then that I first saw him. He was dressed in black, and long dark hair framed his face. His cloak waved in the wind like a banner. Ah, you will pay for your insolence, Birdman! Let's go! Without uttering a word, he had saved my life. He held me in his piercing gaze for a few moments, and then he vanished. Ever since that time, I've longed to see him once again and meet the man known as Red Hawk. I... I feel it's important to meet him again. I know it's destiny. Uh-huh. Destiny, my foot. You're in love. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> yes, you are. You're blushing. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> yum, yum, love. How'd you like a frog in your mouth? <laughs> Wait a second. What? Maybe your hero in black was really someone else. No one's ever seen his face before. It's well known Red Hawk always wears a mask. Mask or not, I know it was him. Who else has the only hawk in the world with bright red feathers? Only Red Hawk. What man makes hoodlums and thugs shudder? Red Hawk. And who else defends the weak? Um... Hmm... I think I'd do anything for him if he were to ask me. <laughs> it's funny what women will do when they're in love. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you little... Oh, back here. <laughs> you should have seen how red your face got when I started teasing you. <laughs> well, I am an eligible woman. <laughs> ah! I saw something! <laughs> Where? Chun <laughs> Chun, it's him, that prankster. It's not him. Huh? Come out into the open and show yourself! Stop lurking in the dark like a coward! Ah. <laughs> Your senses are sharp. This is the filth I warned you about. It's the Hook Yum Don. You need to work on your sneaking, then maybe next time you won't be so loud. <laughs> Red Hawk I've heard all the stories about. Kill the fool! You inflict pain on those who are vulnerable. I will inflict punishment on those who are evil in the name of heaven. Boy, he really knows how to fight. And he's fast, too. You haven't won! Suffer my deadly arcs! Good at dodging. 
touching my arts. But here's one that won't, Mrs. Mark. Go on. I know every one of your amateur tricks. Ha! I'll show you who the amateur is, you feather-headed asshole! <laughs> Where did Chan Chan go? Chan Chan? Chan Chan? What the? Huh? I'm so glad the sound of us nearly getting killed didn't awaken you. You two are not to go. You two deserve more than slaps after last night. Hmm. Oh. Not that damned Red Hawk again. He beat the shit out of Sa Yang as well as the other men. Oh, that's a problem then, isn't it? Red Hawk, eh? <laughs> How long are you going to let him make sitting ducks out of you and your soldiers? You have no need to worry. I don't care a whit if Red Hawk butchers you all like pigs. I'm only concerned that our lord will be ill at ease if there's the tiniest threat that the secret of our stronghold will be divulged. Hmm. And you wouldn't want that now, would you? Hmm. No, you can rely on me. I'll make sure that won't occur. Good boy. On to other business. I want you to find that girl, the one Red Hawk saved when he first appeared. What for? Mo Young, you might try using your brain. Don't you think it's odd that he just happened to be in the mountains? Maybe he knows her and he might be with her now. Huh. Ranga! Gather everyone quickly. Yes, sir. You won't escape me, Red Hawk. Uh, pardon me. Could I be served too? After all, I'm driving here. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, um. You like them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. hmm. Hmm. What? Something wrong? Huh? Oh no no, it's nothing. <laughs> um. <laughs> Look, that little girl's in trouble. <laughs>
its owner do anything! I don't want to die! Nice, bossy! How absurd of me to think that he might be Red Hawk. Finally, we're here. Wow, this town's bustling, ha! Huh? Well, the first thing we should do is investigate the death of Hon Young's father. As far as you know, your father wrote that he worked at a shop called Kun Yan Don. Mm -hmm. Since we already know the shop name, it ought to be a breeze to find, right? Hey, look, there's another one. Oh, and one there. They are portraits of Lord Sabong. He rules over the entire district, including Saman. And judging from the obvious admiration the people show, he must be a very noble and virtuous man. Hmm. Mm hmm. What about me? I'm as virtuous as the next guy. But you don't see my face hanging up all over the town square. What do you say, folks? I'm a great guy when you get to know me. Huh? Hey, wait! But you definitely remember her father. Oh, yes. I don't recall exactly when he started working here. I think it was in the spring. Quan Young was an excellent craftsman, but he suddenly quit. He said he wanted to go back to his hometown. He did? When was that? Well, hmm, if memory serves, it was six months ago, shortly after he arrived. Six months? Well, I don't think we can do much more today. Why don't we all get some rest? until we lure Red Hawk into a trap. He turned on Lord Sabong, and now he'll die. Yeah! A lure? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Why, you bitch, you chose to meet death by drowning rather than by my sword. All right, let's go! Did you succeed? 
succeed. Yes, your plan was flawless, Master Moyong. Then if Liu's guess is correct, Red Hawk will play right into our hands. Hmm. I see. I'm the huh? one the Hook Yum Don really huh? wants. Right, Box Moyong? How the hell did he get here? A hundred of my men were lying in ambush. How did you get past? Oh, were those your men? They must have exhausted themselves playing their little games. Now they're napping in the dirt, dead in their tracks, so to speak. <laughs> Didn't they even give you a welcoming ceremony? How rude of them. What the? Now, give me back the girl. Have I a choice? But it wouldn't be any fun to hand her over just like that. Well, it looks like my lethal beam proved too much for you. Sorry you can't hang around. No, wait! Hmm. What do you want? Did you or your men kill a craftsman? His name was Quan Young, and he worked in a shop in Saman. Quan Young? Who cares? But I did hear about a guy who was hired by Lord Sapong. He was a craftsman and a fool. He tried to leave one day against his employer's wishes, so Liu had him caught and killed. You said Lord Sabong? But how is he tied into the Hook Yum Don on the murder of innocent citizens? What difference does any of that make now that you're on the way to hell? At last the world is finally rid of you, Red Hawk! Uh. Huh? Oh. You've mastered levitation! Damn you! Few have ever mastered that technique! Even mastered this one. The fight illusion transformation. Yeah. The descending red spirit. Ah! I didn't come here to kill anyone. I just want the girl. 
I want you to carefully put her down. What a spectacular muscle match that was. I quite enjoyed it. But how thoughtless of you to kill Mor Young when he was still of some use to me. Uh, who are you? Hmm? <laughs> My name is Liu. Liu? Then you're the one who killed Quan Young. I had no choice. I had to protect our secret. Secret? You mean the counterfeit coins? Huh? Hmm. Well, aren't you the clever one? You left a clue behind. There were grains of gold dust on the body of Quan Young. <laughs> so, the people's hero has more than just strength. He has a brain as well. We strive to attain the goal of Lord Sabong. If anyone gets in our way, well, they'll quickly be removed. Murderer! <coughs> That's the essence of dismal spirit you're choking on. Birdie, if you try to fight it, it'll be more agonizing as it absorbs your entire soul. You must die. Atonement for killing Mo Young. I, hmm. I won't let you win! Oh, what a pity. The dismal spirit is spreading throughout your body. In your present condition, you wouldn't be able to stop a flea. <laughs> huh? My, you are persistent. I wanted to see you die in excruciating pain. Oh well, I'll dispatch you now without further ado. <laughs> Have a good journey, Red Hawk. I'll see you again in hell. I hope you've mastered more tricks by then. <laughs> He killed my best soldier? I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news, my lord. Mo Young was still of some utilitarian use to us. However, hmm, you should have no further worries. I personally took care of Red Hawk myself, sir. The threat of his presence will no longer haunt you, Lord Sabong. Haunt? Do you think I had fear of a ghost? He's a man, not a spirit. <gasps> Uh, 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 forgive me, my lord. I intended no insult. I only meant the... the uh, uh, I fear nothing! What's the status of our overall plan? Everywhere throughout the country of Chongwon, turmoil spreads. The currency we circulate is no longer trustworthy. Chung Wan's monetary system will crumble, plunging the land into chaos. This will surely degrade the Emperor's credibility and prestige, my lord. And then soon we'll take control as the ruling power of Chung Wan and get rid of that royal pain in the ass, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> we'll strike when the land is in the throes of commotion. We'll work to unify Chung Wan and then hold control through terrorism and bloodshed. Indeed. Hmm. <laughs> in case anyone's interested, I'm starving in here! I'm getting hunger cramps. Give me some food! <laughs> you big mouth! Be quiet, I'll feed you when it's time to be fed! Oh, Sumner! I didn't ask to come here. I was minding my own business, sleeping like a baby, when I was suddenly attacked, carried off, and thrown in here! Why would the Hook Young Don kidnap me, huh? Oh, God, she knows who we are! 
<sighs> That's enough of your gibbering! You're all so tough around defenseless women! We'll see how brave you are when Red Hawk catches you! Hmm. What are you cackling about? Red, Red Hawk's dead. Uh, what? what? <laughs> Isn't it sad your hero's gone? Now no one's left to rescue you! <laughs> so you'd be a good little prisoner and not cause me any more trouble, all right? Where's my father now, Red Hawk? Ah, friend, don't give in yet. You still have a lot to do with your life. You're young, strong, trained, moral. Don't die when so many need your help. Oh, yes. You'd probably find it easier to survive if you could breathe. This bog contains healing mud. It's concocted of special compounds that I devised myself. It will act as a poultice upon your body, leeching out the dismal spirit's toxin. When your strength returns, you will be stronger, but unless your spirit is strong, you will not be able to free yourself. Attain the lost goal of your brother, at all costs. They go. Hmm. Gosh, I'm hungry. I'm abandoned without food. What's in the wagon? Same as always. What do you think? Get it. Distinguished Magistrate, my ass. You're not gonna pull it off, Sabong. Sad. Now that Red Hawk's history, you're just in a wretched way. Mm -hmm. I'll let you in on a little secret. Hmm. You're probably curious to know why your father was hired by the Hook Yum Don. He's the man responsible for engraving the negative plates for the printing of the counterfeit currency. What a shame. Father and daughter will die alike. Or not. Huh? <laughs> Are you okay? I am now. <laughs> Red Hawk. He was attacked. While trying to rescue me. Oh no! Who's there? Don't move! Come on, hurry! <laughs> you two can't stroll out of here, you know. Oh no, stay back here. <laughs> you Dan Young. Tonight's incident, is that it? Peasants of vermin, the heaven-fested Changwa. Like rats, they return over and over again, regardless of how often they run out or exterminated. 
Stop letting your misguided compassion rule your mind and forget this nonsense! Stone-hearted bastard! What? That's not smart, alas. You would have been useful. You know the penalty for rebellion. <laughs> Die, Danya! No! Are you able to get up, Daniel? Yeah, I'm fine. You'll have to escape while I handle this crowd. I can't hold it very long, so run fast. Leave you? Mukyang! It was a mistake for you to be here from the beginning. What are you waiting for? Get away from this place now! But what about you? Mukyang! I made this. It's yours now. It's... it's a mask. I had planned to give it to you on your birthday. Jun Chun, dear little brother, from this moment onward you shall be Red Hawk. Live your life freely as does the hawk that soars in the sky. Honor your beliefs and let no one in this land ever shackle your mind or heart. Will kill. Sue the Hawk will watch over you now instead of me. Jun Chun. Good luck, my dearest brother. Ah, ah! Look ya! Jun Chun, you must live in the world you believe in. I see foolhardiness runs in your family since you think you can take us all on by yourself. Ah! Ah! To blame for this. Had I only been stronger, Mukyung would not have suffered this way. ladies are as bothersome as you are naive. Did you really think that you could sneak out of here after causing such a mess, hmm? I'll try to keep these devils busy, and then you run like hell. Not without you. There's no sense in both of us risking our lives. Besides, you'd be a burden if you stay. I can't hold them while protecting you. Uh, you're not contemplating resistance, are you? It's so frightfully evident that you're vastly outnumbered. Let's not make a fuss. <laughs> you don't look very confident, young young. What's the matter? Losing your nerve? <gasps> My god, it's you! <laughs> 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 This time I'll make sure that you're killed. Ready? So long! <laughs> <laughs> There's no place left to run. You're fresh out of options. <laughs> But I killed him. Red Hawk! Then he's still alive! Look! Red Hawk's bird has appeared! I don't understand. Why has it come to rest on the roof of Lord Sabong's manor? Red Hawk guards justice and righteousness. He only punishes those who persecute the innocent. <sighs> but how could he survive when I... What a blunder Liu made. Sabong! Your reign of corruption is over! Clever plan! 
Who would have suspected the Honorable Lord Sabong of masterminding the production of counterfeit coins? Red Hawk. You're alive! <laughs> ah. Young Young, take Hone Young and get out of here! Oh, well, you're full of surprises, Red Hawk. You must have the devil's luck. As long as degenerates like you threaten our land, I will remain here to crush them. <laughs> Sabong! The time for your reckoning is here! <laughs> a man in a bird mask be my destroyer? Dan Young! What the hell? How do you know my name? You must be one of the eleven brothers of the Camelot gang! Uh, <laughs> five dragons! You, Ilyong, Shuryong, Huaryong! <laughs> it's been a long time. At our last meeting, you betrayed Master Danju. It's a miracle you've cheated death this long. You're shit out of luck today. Tell me what happened to my brother, Mook Young. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's doing quite well. But Mook Young, how should I say, isn't the same brother you remember. He's alive? Farewell. I'm afraid Lord Sabong doesn't mean that in an accurate literal sense. Dispose of them. Get back! Those buffoons can't get within sword's reach of him. to kill. For is my brother, Mukyong. Oh, thank God! That's such a relief. Go get him, Jun Chun of uh, Red Hawk. Take revenge on them for the murder of my father. Hmm. We've grown bored of this tiring exercise. Time we turn this to a real fight. <laughs> it's fight transformation. the day you ever crossed our path <clears throat> and I'll make you curse each day that the innocent have suffered you will pay for your crimes you bet that's amazing he's even stronger than his brother was during his encounter with us What a hit! The seven star shell of the five dragons! You men do something! No matter who you send out, the result will always be the same! It's not over yet! You did it! Oh, this is 
is wild to think you're a Red Hawk. Oh, sorry. No, I'm sorry. Chun Chun! Hey, Munya! Your timing is perfect. I want you to take good care of the ladies for me. I have a few things to finish. Munya, thanks. All right, Red Hawk! <laughs> he really is Red Hawk. <laughs> Sabong! Liu! Show yourselves! Sabong! Liu! If you're anxious to die for your master, fine, so be it! <laughs> How delightful of you to come all this way. No one's ever made it this far before. So the dismal spirit potion didn't kill you, nor did the plunge over the cliff. Must be all that good clean living. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. You're in my domain now, and unwelcome pests never leave alive. That remains to be seen. Whatever became of the peerless champion who was here, I see only a miserable creature that's about to die. Huh? So that's it. Spider threads. When I touch them, he can tell where I am. Then I'll turn it to my advantage by using his own evil device against him. better with some light.
Time to end this here and now. <laughs> Which Huar Yong said you weren't the same as before. <laughs> My God. <laughs> well done, bird brain. You awakened the sleeping demon. Sleeping demon? <laughs> That's right. Your brother was forced to drink Ma Yong Shindan, which turned him into a maniacal murderer. How could they? <laughs> Mook Young, who was once looked up to and admired as the most excellent member of the Five Dragons, has been reduced to an insane killer. Can you get it through your thick skull now? Any attempt to stand or fight against Master Danjo is futile. Dragons, right, Red Hawk? Oh? You don't seem very pleased even though you found your dear brother. Well, perhaps he doesn't recognize his younger sibling. After all, it's been so long. You prick! Lord Sabong! Red Hawk, hm. Dan Young, fifth ranking of the Five Dragons. I'll suffer no more of your annoying interference. As for you, you shall suffer for your failure to me along with the brothers. <laughs> your Lordship. Please, I beg your mercy. And you shall have it. I'll mercifully put you from your pain. Archers, shoot! Uh, but Lord Sabong, this is my reward for all the uh, devoted service I rendered. Ah, but you can render no more as a broken, useless thing. Red Hawk's right. You are a brick. You are a filthy demon wearing the mask of a human. Whatever. You can denounce me all you like. After this, you'll be silent. Mook Young will quiet your voice forever. Your brother promises some lively sport for your final fight. Now, Mook Young, annihilate your brother! No, don't! This has been disappointing. Come on, Dan Young, mix it up a little bit, will you? I expected to watch a thrilling match between you two. All right, you mindless maniac, finish him off! Try my devil's flame! Huh? Ah! <laughs> young Young. I hope I'm in time. I had a feeling you might need some help. Are you all right? 
How fortunate for you, Dan Young. Now you have company on your journey to hell. You're the one who ought to be making travel plans to the next life, you slime. Oh! Uh, oh. My god! It's him. You can't hurt him. He's your brother, your own flesh. Well, reasoning's out. <laughs> you can neither struggle nor reason with the insane one who has succumbed to the elixir of evil spirits. That's a devil's potion! The very best. Mook Young has no power over his mind. No. Jun Chun! Mook Young, look at me! I'm your brother! Can't you see who I am? <laughs> Chun Chun! He makes a good monster, don't you think? And he faithfully obeys his master's commands. But he's not a monster. <sighs> Stop! That thing isn't your brother! Yes, he is! Young is my brother. Nothing will ever force me to harm him. Have you forgotten who you are? You're Red Hawk, protector of peace and justice. You're the only hope the people of Chungwon have. The last defense between them and disaster. I don't give a damn about anyone anymore. I'm to blame for Mook Young's fate. Why should I help a country of strangers when I can't even save my own brother? To hell with Chungwon! How dare you talk like that! <clears throat> He can't pretend to attack you like that for very long. What would you do in his place? Take the life of your younger brother? You'd live in constant torment knowing he died by your hand. Yet I won't kill Mu Kyung. I can't destroy my own flesh and blood. Sabong's won. Look at him. Look close at his ankles and wrists. Can you see them? Horrible gashes and scars. I don't understand. Who would do that? He did it to himself when he saw what destiny held for him. He knew beforehand he would have to consume the Maryong Shindan and be forced into a death fight with you. Don't be ridiculous. What are you trying to make me believe? That he would cut the muscles in his hands and feet in order not to kill me? <laughs> yes! Don't you see? He did it for you before the potion could take control of him. No. Chun Chun, please listen to me. You're the only person who can help him now. You have to free him from this living hell so his dream can live on through you. <laughs> As the saying goes, you're shit out of luck. Go on, finish him. I'll savor the death of Red Hawk. Is it so hard? Just kill him! He murdered 
him. I never guessed he could do it. But I fully expected a much more rousing exhibition. A good game is hard to come by. Life. That's too high a price. Your reign is over, Sabong! Just a trick! There's nowhere to run to, Sabong. I loathe you. My brother's death will be avenged. <laughs> Who will avenge you? <laughs> Boy, haven't you a clue who you're facing off against? I'm one of the Camelai gang and the 11th ranking brother of its order. Fool! You think I earned that rank for nothing? I usually don't soil my hands with the blood of troublemakers, but you've left me no choice. You feel my tiger's claw! Did that give you a better indication of who I am? You were one of the five dragons, eh? You have skill, but how stupid to challenge a member of the most powerful brotherhood. <laughs> you seem to be badly injured. Oh, I don't think you'll be able to withstand my next attack as you're in such poor shape. Ah! Huh? Not you again. What a meddlesome bitch. Jun Chun, attack! Jun Chun! I'm here! <laughs> huh? You boasted that the five dragons were no match for your superior strength. It was a boast made in arrogance. I will demonstrate for you what true power is. <laughs> you can't intimidate me with tricks and illusions. I've had enough of you. Go join your brother, Tiger's Claw! <laughs>
Damn you to hell, Danya. If you believe you've won, I can assure you that you're terribly mistaken. In time, you shall become acutely aware that regardless of how desperately you battle, you can never free yourself from my grip. This is where we part company, my friends. Huh? Wait! Where are you planning to go? Wherever my powers are needed. I promised Mook Young to protect the Torch of Freedom in Chung Wan. For that purpose, I must become stronger. Then I will wreak vengeance upon the Kamalai Gang for my brother's death and destroy them. I'm lucky to have good friends like you, and I'm grateful for all that you've done. Same here. Chan Chan. Hon Young, I love your cooking. I'll miss it. You and the town of Chung Lim will always hold a special place within my heart. <sighs> Young Young, Munya, you take care. <sighs> I look forward to the day when we will all meet again, my friends. Someday, you'll see. Hey, I began my journey huh? searching for Red Hawk, and Jun Chun was too. We still have a common goal, so I figure if he and I train together, we'd be more than a match for the Camel Eye game. Huh. Yeah, hmm. that's just what I'll do. I'll work with Red Hawk. Hey, girl. <laughs> I'll see you around. Hey! Ah! No, not until Jun Chun's far away. If you don't let go of me, I'm not going to be able to catch up with him. Ah! Hey! That's right. He can handle the bad guys all alone. Uh. Now look here, I'll go anywhere I want to, and you're not going to keep me from going there. And I say you won't go! Looks like you've already forgotten that Torch of Freedom speech he gave us. You can't force me to stay here against my will. Oh, uh. yes, I can! Hey, I'm still in training. i got to move on and find new challengers. It's just a coincidence that Red Hawk is going my way. You liar, you uh. liar, you uh. liar! Uh. Will you please let go of my hair? 